Greetings fellow pilgrims, I'm Doug. This is Camino 2020, where you are following me along my journey to the Camino de Santiago in Spain next year. I've been posting gear review videos, plans, training regimes, anything I can to help you get ready, just like I am, to take on your Camino. And today I am excited because I finally got time to do something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is pack my backpack. What I'm going to be doing is a little different. Instead of backing the camera up, showing you all my junk laid out all over the floor, and then, you know, slowly packing it all into my pack, I've decided to show you in a more systematic way what I'm bringing, what categories of stuff I'm bringing it in, and show you how it all actually fits together. Now, one caveat before you watch the video, I do not have exactly everything I'm going to be bringing on my Camino for a couple of reasons. For one, I haven't purchased every last bit yet, and that's actually by design. There are some things that I just don't want to have yet, uh, specifically in the areas of technology. There are items that I am planning on bringing that are probably going to be updated by next year, or if not, the prices will probably drop on the gear I'm bringing. And since it's gear that I'm only bringing for the Camino, there's just no reason to have it right now. So I'm going to wait until next spring to buy some of the technology. So I've just kind of put some items that I already have that are about the right size and the right look in the video. Another reason that I may not be packing exactly what I'm bringing next year is that I don't know exactly every single thing I'm bringing. Some of my gear I literally got in the mail yesterday, haven't even had time to try it on yet. Most of the gear, however, is tried and true. It's been with me on my trail hikes. It's been with me during my training. I'm trying to train as realistically as possible. I'll do another video on that topic in the future. But for now, let's get to it. I just want to show you how I am packing for my Camino and seeing if it all fits. All right, so here is a picture of all my gear laid out, ready to pack. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably looking at this and thinking, oh my gosh, why are you bringing so much stuff? This is ridiculous. You've literally covered an entire table with the gear you're bringing. This is the Camino. You know, you're supposed to be a pilgrim. You're supposed to just be walking from albergue to albergue. How could you possibly need all this junk? Well, look, I'm not a minimalist. I, I would say I am at heart. I like to think I'm minimalistic, but I also want a certain level of comfort and also a certain amount of confidence that comes from having backups. So let's just start by wiping the slate clean. We're just gonna start with nothing and see where we end up. And please, in the comments, let me know if you think I've brought something I don't need. Let me know if you've got a more efficient way to pack or um, more things that can do multiple uses. All of these things will help me and will help the others who are watching the videos. All right, so we're starting from scratch. We've got nothing. We're standing on the Camino de Santiago, um, but we haven't brought clothes. We haven't brought food. We haven't brought any money or ID. We're not gonna last very long in that condition. So first things first, let's get dressed. So just from uh, bottom to top, what you're seeing are a pair of shoes, sock liners, socks, underwear, pants that convert into shorts, a shirt, and a buff, and my hat. So that is pretty much a full coverage clothing lineup. All right, so now I'm dressed. But we need to keep in mind that at the end of the day, I'm going to want to wash these clothes and we don't want to go back to square zero while I'm standing there in the albergue. So I'm going to need something to wear while I'm washing my clothes. I'm also going to need something to wear the next day. I'm going to want to be able to change it up once in a while. I'm going to want to have backup in case I have some kind of failure. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring two of everything with regard to clothes. All right, so now I'm dressed, fantastic. But these clothes are not going to give me enough protection if one of the Camino downpours begins. So let's toss in some water protection. At this time for my Camino, I am planning on bringing a rain jacket and rain pants. In another video, I will talk about possibly substituting the pants for a rain kilt, not a dress, but we'll hold off on that for right now because I'm kind of going for maximum packing to make sure it's all going to fit. The kilt is something that will fit in a pocket. All right, so now I've got hat, 
rain jacket, rain pants, shoes are already waterproof. That's about as good as it's going to get as far as protection from soaking. Uh, but if you're like me, at this point you still can't see. <laughs> so, glasses. I am going to bring a hard shell case for my glasses. I have glasses, I don't like contacts, and even if I did, I don't want to bring all that junk on the Camino, so I'm going to go with glasses. I have prescription sunglasses that are going to go in the case so I can swap them out. Look, glasses are not something you can replace very easily on the Camino. Okay, now that I am dressed and I can see, I can start walking. Recently, I have become a pretty big fan of the hiking pole. I'll do a separate video on walking sticks versus trekking poles, but for now, there they are. Okay, so I am fully dressed. I am ready for rain. I've got my trekking poles. Time to start moving. Uh, guess what? Been walking for a while. Sun's beating down. I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting hungry. What am I going to do? Water bottle. So I've got my water bottle system. I've got a tactical spork, which can serve both to feed me and to protect me in case of ninja attack. So I've got my bottle. I've got my filter system if I need it inside. And I've got my tactical spork. All right, so this fully clothed pilgrim is ready for rain. He's ready to eat. He's ready to drink. He's walking with his trekking poles. And now it's time to get to the albergue and go to sleep. Whoa, 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 back up. A few things have to happen first. Number one, it's shower time. Now, from what I've heard, most albergues will provide a shower and little else. So I'm going to have to have soap and shampoo and anything else that I use in the bathroom to get ready. I have heard of these really cool soaps that double up as a shampoo and even as laundry detergent. I have not obtained one of these yet or been able to check it out, but let's just assume that I have a bar of soap. I've got my toothbrush, I've got my clippers, whatever else I need to take care of my personal grooming, and now I can take a shower. And when I get done, I am probably not going to want to stand there soaking wet. I'm going to want a towel, but a typical cotton terry cloth towel is going to be very big, very heavy, take forever to dry out. So I am going to bring this cool little camp towel that I got at REI. I have tried it out, believe it or not. I can dry myself completely with this little thing, still have some dry areas, clip it onto the pack as I head out in the morning, and it's going to be dried out by lunchtime. Okay, so I have taken my shower. I have washed my clothes. They're hung up on my clothesline. Everything is ready to go. Time to head out on the town. So at this point, I'm going to bring a little nicer shirt. It's still a hiking shirt, but it's long sleeve in case I'm going to go uh, to mass that day or into a nicer restaurant or something. Probably not going to happen very often. But I've kind of got my around town clothes on. I've got my backup shoes on, my sandals. Feet are airing out. I'm feeling great. Oh man, where is my passport, my ID, my money? Aha, it's right here in my handy dandy, completely waterproof waste pack. I strongly recommend bringing something besides your backpack to the Camino because when you finally get to the albergue and you drop all that stuff and it's time to go walk around, you are not going to want to have to stuff your pockets full of things and hope that you remembered everything. So personally, I found a great waterproof waste pack. I'm going to keep my passport, other ID, credit cards, uh, pilgrim passport, and other things like that that I never ever really want to leave my side. This bag is going to go with me into the bathroom when I shower. It's going to be in my bag at night. It's going to be on me when I'm walking around town and when I'm walking the Camino. Essentially, this is the last line of defense. This waste pack never comes off. All right, so I'm done walking around town. It's finally time to go to bed. I walk into the albergue and oh, bear mattress, nothing else. What do you do? Well, this is where the sleep system comes in. Now, there are different opinions on the best way to do this. Some people say bring a sleeping bag. Others say a sleeping bag is going to be too hot. Some people have recommended just bringing a sleeping bag liner uh, covered with permethrin so that if there's a bed bug problem, which there can be with hundreds of thousands of pilgrims walking from albergue to albergue every night, it only takes one bed bug to jump on your pack while you're somewhere and you could carry it down the entire Camino. So it's important to be safe and follow the rules in the albergues with regard to bed bugs. Some people bring a pillow, some people don't. Right now, I've opted for a slightly strange sleep system. I'm going to try it out a few times because I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. But what my plan is for now is to basically wear really super comfortable long johns, use a sleeping bag liner, which will either go under blankets if they're provided or just be by itself if they're not. And then I've got a puffy down jacket. 
Now this has a couple purposes. Number one, I can keep it in its stuff sack and it can be my pillow. However, if I start getting cold, I have heard that some albergues don't run the heater at night and some people might leave windows open. What, however it goes down, I wanna be ready. I can actually put the jacket on, use a clothing stuff sack as a pillow and I should be pretty toasty. I've got earplugs, total non-negotiable for the Camino. You might be in a room with 15 or 100 other pilgrims. Somebody is gonna be snoring. I'm bringing earplugs. Wake up the next morning, pack up. Oh, wait a minute. I can't see because it's dark and I'm certainly not gonna be a jerk and go flip the lights on when it's time for me to leave. Plus, it's gonna be dark outside. So what do you do in that case? Headlamp time. I've got this great lightweight little headlamp uh, made for hiking. It's got a red switch on it so that in the dark, you can flick it to the red filter and see what you're doing without waking anybody else up, without losing your night vision. All right, once everything's packed up, I'm outside, it's dark, gonna hike into the sunrise, flip, now it's a white light. I'm packing, I've got my poles, hands are free, I can still see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm ready to, no, I am not ready to go. I forgot my phone. Now my phone is gonna be not only a communications device, but also my camera. It's going to be very important to me that it gets charged up every day. How do you charge up a phone? With a charger. Is that charger gonna plug into a wall in Spain? No, it's not. So you're gonna to have to have an adapter. So I've got the phone, I've got the charger, I've got the adapter. That is probably not gonna get me through a whole day. So I'm gonna bring a battery backup as well. That is also going to need to be charged. Now, all of this charging takes time and there's a lot of people potentially in the albergue that also wanna charge their devices. And there's going to be a limited number of plugs. So my plan is to do two things. Number one, I'm going to bring a quick charger that goes with my battery backup. So worst case scenario, if I can just find one plug, I can very quickly charge up my battery backup and then use it to charge everything else the next day. Best case scenario, I am also going to bring a little multi-outlet strip if I can find a really lightweight one so that I can be the hero of the albergue, plug my strip in, get my stuff going, and not actually take up any outlets and other people are welcome to share it. Okay, I've had my sleep, I'm dressed, I can see with my headlamp, I've got my glasses on, everything's packed back up, the phone is charged, the battery pack is charged, I walk outside, I'm ready for a new day. Buen Camino. Okay, there are a few more miscellaneous items that I will go into in other videos, but just so you can see what's in the picture, uh, we've got the famous Camino shell, I've got my rock that I'm going to be leaving uh, somewhere along the route, I've got my guidebook, I've got a little Camino bling. I will be bringing along some items to give to albergue proprietors. I will also be bringing some items from family and friends at home that they would like to sort of have blessed along the way. And these sorts of things will be coming with me as well. Okay, last but not least, gotta pack all this stuff up. Let's see if it fits. First of all, all of my clothing fit easily inside this yellow bag. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, it looks like you're cheating here. There's no way you got all those clothes in that yellow stuff sack. Well, you're right, because half of those clothes are on my body. So as it turns out, this yellow stuff sack is actually quite a bit bigger than I needed it to be for my clothing. Okay, next, let's pack up the rain pants. The jacket I'm going to keep in the mesh pocket on the outside of the pack, because if it starts raining, I wanna be able to get to that thing fast, and I don't wanna to have to open my pack and let the rain fall inside of it in order to get my rain gear out. My sleeping system uh, fit in that little teeny tiny blue bag. That's perfect by itself. The down jacket as well stuffs neatly into a smaller sack. And I'm just gonna continue this process, putting all of my hygiene items in a waterproof pouch that I can take with me into the shower. I have a similar one that I'm using as a waste pack for my ID and some tech things. All right, and here it is, my packed backpack. The shell, some of the other things that are purposefully being kept on the outside of the pack are being laid out. And now you see what the completed pack looks like. As I had hoped, the Osprey Exos 38 is the perfect size pack. It's not too big. I didn't have a lot of space left over. Okay, no one's gonna be sneaking a watermelon in my backpack. But at the same time, everything fit without feeling like I had to cram it in, stand on top of it. I think it's gonna be the perfect pack. I will post a gear list on this video, but 
Keep in mind that I've got other videos where I'm actually doing proper gear reviews of a lot of what I'm bringing. If these videos are helping you out, uh, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that you get updates for future videos, and if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Boing Camino.